everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today as you can tell by the title as well as my struggle braids I will be installing a wig today and this wig is by the brand the stylus and it's in the style Bella it's in the color 1b slash blonde here's the packaging it's already been opened I got this weeks ago and I've been waiting for the perfect time to install it and the day is now so I want to preface this video by saying I'm not a wig professional I I just admire people that wear wigs I think I said this in my $15 wig video um, I like watching and I like watching y'all do what y'all do therefore I don't do what y'all do so me doing this is not gonna be the same way that y'all be doing what y'all do because I don't know how you do what you do anyways <laughs> let's get started so I already got some wig caps on deck I actually have a lot of wig supplies well not a lot but a lot for somebody who doesn't wear wigs I, I just keep trying I have about three four wigs that I don't wear that often but I'll be trying but today I think oop, I keep in my microphone sorry today with that wig I think it's the day anyway I got these wig caps I'm gonna put one on as you can see I got my braids I don't know how to corn row and I wasn't gonna embarrass myself with that so I just did them um, did some did four because I'm bald I did four fresh braids Ooh, just like that I'm gonna try to do the the ball cap method I've tried it before and it kind of worked but it kind of didn't but let's see how this goes so this is what it looked like right now Okay y'all, I'm back. As you saw in the clips, I glued the wig cap down. I cut off the excess in the mirror back there. This is what it's looking like. It's giving crusty right now. It's not giving hairline, it's giving crusty. Um, but next, I'm going to lay down these curled edges a little bit. Um, and I think I might do that with the got to be <laughs> the got to be Joe. I know a lot of people use the black bottle, but I only got the yellow one on me. So yeah. I suppose I'll time lapse that uh, as well. Excuse me. I feel like I burp in every single one of my videos and I think that's funny. Some people are gonna be like, that's not ladylike, that's gross. And to that I say, live a little. It's a human body. Okay. As you can see, I've kind of got the cap laid down. She's looking okay, not necessarily smooth. But the next thing I'm going to do is take a Q-tip, a little bit of 
alcohol to clean up the edges before I set the cap with a scarf. No, this side it always gets in my little hairs right here because I've um I've attempted to install a wig before and it was for YouTube I filmed it and everything but it was kind of a fail because I went in thinking I knew everything and I don't I ended up deleting the footage and everything but yeah just gonna go around this perimeter almost and I'm just gonna set it with this scarf because that's what the people on TikTok told me to do I'm gonna tie it pretty tight hopefully I don't get a headache that's also something that turns me off from wigs I have one of those heads that won't be tame like you put a headband on me instant headache you put a scarf on me instant headache sometimes even when I wear a hat it gives me a headache so, I'm going to tie it tight and leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes, just so that it could really melt. In the meantime, y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch my show. Right now, I'm watching Kim's Convenience on Netflix. It's a Canadian show. Let me know what you guys are watching. Have you seen Kim's Convenience? That's my shit. <laughs> So, I, <laughs> I'm back after about, I don't know, I'd probably say 12 minutes, 13, I don't know, there was like 12 minutes left in my show when I started watching. So let's see if she's melted or if she's struggling. I'll take it off this way. Oh, it wasn't dry. Okay. Okay, she's trying. She's trying her best. It's a little crusty right here. I guess it was wetter than I thought. My head feels so tight. It feels really weird. <laughs> no, it feels weird. This is exactly how I felt the other time I put on a wig. The first time I tried to film it. First, I know y'all been waiting to see the wig and I'm over here messing around with this stupid cap. But this is what the package looks like. That's all the different colors it comes in. I already went went ham on the hair. I ain't never had no blonde hair before. I've never gone light before. But something in me a couple of months ago decided to do that. Here's the little card. This is what she's giving on the card. Once again, this is Bella in 1B slash blonde neutral HD lace by the stylist. And I think I got this off of Sam's Beauty. I looked for days, days, because I am so indecisive when it comes to the wigs that I want to buy. So I was looking, I was looking. It's 13 by six, lace frontal, pre-plucked, baby hair, six inch deep part. Every time that I look for wigs on Sam's Beauty, I look it up on Amazon. So I could first of all price match and second of all look at reviews of people wearing it and I'm pretty sure I did look up this wig and I did see the baby hairs. I saw the looks everybody was doing and I said y'all y'all got me y'all got me. I was sold immediately. So immediately taking a spit out the box. I'm act like I didn't try it on in the middle of the night as soon as I got it. This is what she's giving. This is the color. It's like a I don't know how to describe blondes, but it's blonde at the bottom, darker at the top. This one be, but there's a little bit of like caramel tones in it. They didn't do a, uh, you know, blunt <laughs> ombre. Let's take the paper out. Let's take the, the net off. The net is my favorite part. It's so satisfying. All right, she's giving bounce. She's giving bounce, period. Let's take a look at the lace. I see the little, the little baby hairs curling up. The lace looks pretty good. I, I can't lie. It's like a little light, even for me. 
Um, but there she is. She looks cute. The knots aren't crazy. I'm pretty sure they're bleached. See, I know about wig shit, but I don't I don't be wearing wigs. Like I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like the, the front hairline is plucked and the, the knots are smaller back there, honestly. Ooh, but it looks so cute. Here's what the inside cap construction looks like. Ooh. One, two. Three combs in there with the little adjustable brassiere straps. It's also got those weird neck baby hairs in the back that are mad dark. See, you can see some of that caramel color manifesting right here. But this is what the inside looks like. It's like lace, literally lace front. Oh yeah, because this one is a, a frontal. I don't know the difference between a frontal and a closure, but there's like a little amount of lace back here. Anyway, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour, blah, 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 in the color C10.5. C10 I don't know why I'm acting like you could ever see that, but this is what the bottle look like. I got it from Ulta. I know that. This is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer in deep cinnamon. <laughs> deep cinnamon. This is what that looks like like wait was it the right way yep <laughs> okay so i'm gonna just put it right on the brush this is the makeup revolution thing applicator i actually really like these applicators i don't know i just think it's cute that it's a big lip gloss and then i'm pretty sure this one is exactly the same yeah pretty similar this just goes to show I go for the same type of packaging look And the annoying thing about practicing wigs is like, you gotta wash your hair after you done like ruined your hair expecting that you're gonna keep this wig on and just refresh it for a couple of days. You're so excited thinking that the world is new, but it's not. It's the same old thing. You're just gonna put your hair in a bun. You're just gonna put it in a bun again. Okay, once you've made yourself look almost believably bald, where is reality? This angle, you could tell I'm not bald. You can see my part, but from here, I'm a bald woman. This is my reality now. Sorry, but I haven't been outside today. Because I've been putting this fucking wig cap on for hours for hours now let's put a little bit of makeup on the wig let's ruin the wig <laughs> i'm not putting it directly on the lace because i already know that's gonna mess it up Let's try it on. Let's give it a, a flip. I wanna, I wanna, how did I do it before? So casually. Let's see what it's giving. What's it giving y'all? Is it giving scalp? <laughs> Is it giving scalp or nightmare? Both? Feeling like I put my wig cap way too low. Let's look in the mirror. I don't know why I'm trying to look in the little viewfinder. Oh. Hold on. Um. Hey guys. It might be giving scalp. <laughs> it just might be giving scalp. I really don't know what to do because this is the part where I'd be messing it up. So, 
how much it's been going on. I've really been doing this for hours. Okay. Don't be mad. Everything's fine. All right, so as you may or may not be able to tell, I oh, there's so many pieces just in my face. Okay. I've sprayed down these little sections that I cut and I don't know I've seen people do this I'm gonna tie the sky <laughs> I'm gonna tie the scarf on one more time just to further melt the lace first we had to melt the the cap now I'm gonna melt the lace and, uh, So, I'm back about three and a half minutes later because I'm getting really impatient and it's, it's, it's not fun anymore. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, Grandpa. But it's too damn bad. Keep, you keep on digging. Whatever the fuck he says. Here we go. I feel like I got a proper helmet on my head. Like, my head is being squoze. I'm gonna cut off the lace. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stop hesitating and I'm gonna just do what I was made to do. What I was born to do. I'm gonna cut off this lace. Okay, I cut off the lace, it looks like, but, but, as I said, I'm tired. So, I took out the, uh, the pre-cut edges, and I'm gonna just lay them real quick. Oh, well, first, I definitely have to get these bits off my face. Before I do anything, because I've gone out with a crusty wig on before, and people notice, I mean, don't think that they don't. I'm back with the uh, huge lashes that kind of make me look like a Muppet. Get the jokes out now let's get the jokes out now but i'm back with the wig on it's not installed anymore because i got inebriated with my friends and i walked home in the rain with them and i got the lace wet and when i got home it was so itchy i couldn't keep it on my head so i went with a million different sprays fingered it until it got off my head and then I went to sleep peacefully but then today I put on this sweater and I thought it would look amazing with this wig so I installed it but I'm not even wearing a wig cap like I did all that work literally like two days ago just to <laughs> take the cap off and everything so it's just on top of my braids right now and I only laid down the edges but this is what it looks like <laughs> I get the gist of putting on wigs now like the first install was cute the first install was cute um I'll insert pictures of it here because you're you damn skippy I took a lot of pictures and videos so I'll I'll put those here. I'll give it a minute. I recorded a lot of things I can remember. But um, this is what she looks like today. A little ratty, you know, she's synthetic. I just gave it a Anyway, <laughs> let's zoom in. You can see the lace, but it's still, uh, it's still disguised enough. Because, you know, I have a, a studio light here. If I turn it 
turn it down a little bit. Oh, no, you can still see it. Why did I think that would work? Still looks cute, though. I don't care. Baby hair, a little wiggy, though. Can't lie. I didn't lay down the sides. Because I didn't go nowhere today. That's just my hair under there. That's all me under there, baby. But it looks really cute. I don't care. I look cute today. With the turtleneck on. Hold on. Thanks for learning with me. Installing a wig with me. It was a journey. Journey worth making. Because now I have a wig that I am okay with wearing in public. I know I get funny stares, but I'm learning. And I shouldn't be ashamed of that. Because one day I'll be really good. If I keep doing it. Practice makes perfect. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please like and <laughs> please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you, not really, in the next one. Bye. Thank you.